morning, everyone. Uh, we apologize for this uh, delay and these uh, little problems that we had, but I can see that we are not that much delayed. So I will try to 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 speed up a bit uh, this uh, this presentation. Um, welcome to to Spain. Uh, virtually, but uh, here we are, uh, and eventually we, 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 I'm sure that we will have the, the, the time and the opportunity for you to visit uh, our country and our two uh, cities. So <clears throat> I'm going to, to give you a very, very short presentation uh, about uh, the Alliance for Universities. As Gloria said, I am now... Um, uh, I mean, UAM, University Autonoma of Madrid, is uh, now um, is uh, now uh, uh, having the presidency, and uh, and that's why I'm presenting, uh, making this, uh, welcoming you, and 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 doing this uh, short uh, presentation. Um, some of you, I think, uh, uh, have already uh, been present in the in the presentation of uh, uh, this alliance. But for everybody that is uh, in in this session, we are, uh, as uh, uh, already said, and as you know, the A for You uh, Alliance is this alliance for for university, and uh, uh, we are uh, Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona, uh, Universidad Autónoma of Madrid, La Universidad Carlos III de Madrid and Universitat Pompeu Fabra de Barcelona. We, um, what, is, uh, what is this alliance? It's, uh, it's uh, uh, an alliance of uh, a very strategic partnership of these four public universities. We are all four uh, quite uh, young, I will show you now. Uh, we are in the two most important cities in, uh, in Spain, uh, Madrid and, and, uh, and Barcelona. And uh, and uh, uh, and and we are for uh, all four in 2018 uh, that we were uh, yet <laughs> two of us the two autonomous were 50 uh, years old uh, at that uh, at that very date we were uh, in the top 50 under 50 uh, for the QS uh, ranking. Uh, we have a broad range of academic programs that you can uh, can see in uh, in, in, in our uh, uh, presentations that uh, I think are available for you that are more thorough and of course in our web uh, pages but just to show you that uh, as I said uh, we are we are very young some younger than 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 the two others uh, we are in size a, a bit uh, diverse uh, but uh, you see we are uh, you know medium uh, to 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 not very big uh, universities and as you can see we have a, a, a number of bachelor master and phd uh, programs um, we have already two ongoing joint multidisciplinary bachelor uh, degrees uh, very interesting and one more that will uh, come uh, shortly uh, we share, uh, as I say, as an alliance, three big, uh, big, uh, um, uh, three big areas, uh, which is uh, studies, as I have shown you, the international activity. Uh, we have been ex very successful in, in participating in international uh, mobility programs uh, together, uh, in particular in the Erasmus Plus International uh, Exchange programs. Uh, in recent years, uh, we got more than uh, 100 to uh, 200 scholarships for mobility with extra communitarian countries uh, as uh, in, 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 in the strategy that we are uh, now <laughs> actually still doing. Doing, uh, as with you, uh, the Boswan um, universities, and uh, these uh, extra these mobilities are for for students, of course, as well as for faculty and staff. Uh, we are uh, still aiming at broadening the range and number of exchange programs and strategic partnerships under Erasmus+. Uh, in particular, we focus on two countries uh, in which and universities and partners in which none of the individual universities are uh, have a, a very big uh, uh, active uh, uh, relationship um, this international activity supported by spanish government uh, and, and precisely the, the the institute of foreign trade uh, the ethics 
Uh, I'm going to concentrate a bit more because I think that uh, in these exchanges that uh, we will uh, focus on to uh, via this uh, exchange uh, mobilities, uh, Erasmus Plus mobilities, uh, will have a, a more uh, in uh, sort of, of will be related more to research and, and innovation. And well, Alliance for you as an alliance is a extremely uh, powerful and impactful um, uh, alliance and, 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 and relationship uh, for research and innovation. I'm sure you. I'm going to show you very, very briefly some some data. Uh, um, we are. I'm going to compare the the alliance for you with the Spanish uh, university system that uh, has 85 universities, 50 of them public. As we are, we are all for public universities. Okay, so for universities that is uh, almost a four percent. Uh, around more or less than 4% of the total uh, universities represent the 12% of all visibility of the Spanish university uh, system uh, is, uh, uh, is due to a for you for the, of this alliance. Also the productivity that uh, uh, is 17% representing, as I say, only four universities out of 85. And um, uh, the impact. So uh, the citations listed in the in in in, in the, uh, the whole uh, Spanish uh, university system uh, counts uh, accounts for uh, twenty two uh, percent, being only as I repeat for universities of eighty five. It's just just to give you uh, uh, the the dimension of the of the strength of the alliance in uh, in Spain. Um, you will have uh, some some um, numbers about the EU funded uh, research, uh, uh, on, not only in all the, the, the increase in the number of projects of European projects projects that have been accumulated by the Alliance uh, from the, the, the beginning of the, 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 the framework uh, program uh, five to uh, this uh, uh, H Horizon 2020 that is uh, finishing, of course, uh, this, this year in number of projects and of, of publications of, uh, of uh, EU funding, uh, etc. Uh, the, the technology transfer also is quite impressive, taking uh, as, uh, as an alliance uh, in the number of patents uh, generated or spin-offs or contracts uh, gotten, or uh, um, and again, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an important um, percentage of the patents uh, compared to the rest of the universities of Spain and the, 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 the revenues of these, uh, of these innovative uh, and technology transfer activity. Uh, we, uh, we excel uh, as an alliance in life sciences, health sciences, engineering, communication, so social sciences, and humanities altogether as, as a whole. And now I'm going to uh, present uh, the, 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 the main uh, research areas of each university. Uh, starting uh, in alphabetical order, uh, the Universitat Autonoma of Barcelona, uh, which is uh, really a, a leader uh, university in research. Uh, they highlight uh, animal nutrition and welfare, biotechnology and health, social sciences and humanities, materials and energy, envir environment and sustainability, information and communication technology. You will uh, you will see some some of the of the of the scholars in in those areas that are interested uh, in, uh, in 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 getting a partnership with 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 uh, you um, my guests or our guests um, university autonoma of madrid uh, i can uh, uh, just highlight that we are a, 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 an university that has uh, always found a synergy with other uh, research uh, um, institutions uh, and, and and technology institutions and uh, i can uh, sort of highlight uh, these uh, areas of nanoscience and material sciences, theoretical physics that are really, and mathematics that uh, we, ho we, we host 
two of the most uh, most reputed uh, institutes, uh, research institutes in our campus, law, arts and social sciences, uh, as well as life sciences, uh, biotechnology, biomedicine and food science. We have 30, uh, these activities is uh, performed in, of course, uh, all, 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 all of our eight uh, uh, faculties and, and, and schools. Um, uh, that hold 30 uh, research institutes and centers, research institutes in uh, hospitals. Um, five are uh, WAM and uh, CESIC, Consejo Superior de Investigaciones Científicas Institutes. Our uh, five is uh, in our campus are thesic owned institutes. We, we don't participate, but, but the, the institutes are there. So that give the campus very, very active in, in research to Madrid Institutes for Advanced uh, Studies and uh, the Madrid Science Park, which is a uh, holding of, uh, of uh, different uh, universities um, and of course uh, the, the municipality of Madrid and, and ourselves and the region. Uh, Universidad Carlos uh, III has uh, highlights four main lines of research, social and legal sciences in economics, business administration, law and statistics. Uh, engineering with with uh, they, 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 you can you can see uh, you will you will be able to to, to really go into detail of uh, each of these areas engineering. Um, uh, mathematics and, and, and physics and humanities documentation, journalism and audio, uh, audiovisual communication. And they, they also point out uh, some uh, interesting ideas about uh, them as individual uh, universities within the Alliance uh, for Universities. That is a, an innovative uh, university committed to the improvement of society, uh, really aiming at having a and, and supporting the cutting edge uh, research. They aim uh, really at uh, have a multidisciplinary and this diversity in their research. They are a medium sized university um, uh, which, which is uh, very prone to tackle new projects in an agile and flexible uh, way. And I can uh, really tell that uh, is uh, is this way um, and they they have 30 100 um, more than 100 uh, research groups and 27 research institutes uh, the Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona um, is our last uh, member that I will explain. They are concentrated, uh, they are presenting themselves as uh, a doing a research in planetary or aimed at planetary well-being in engineering and technology, in social sciences, in humanities, and in sciences. Um, so, uh, altogether, you will have uh, this uh, presentation, I assume. So, you know, as uh, you know, to wrap up a bit, uh, as uh, what we offer really and our objectives is to uh, really increase mobility, international mobility of our students, researchers, and academics and staff uh, towards uh, the new partners. Uh, of course, to, to try to increase our research partnerships. We have a very international uh, profile. And uh, you can see that in uh, our campus, we have uh, also English taught degrees that could be of interest for your students for exchange and, and stuff like that. And that's all for me. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I will end here. OK, so great. Uh, if, now, oh, it's it's a bit uh, slow. My 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 computer goes a bit slow today. Anyway, so uh, without any any more, uh, because I think uh, it's uh, it's time to 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 um, to then uh, welcome our our guests, and um, in particular, uh, we are going to to have these presentations, but by uh, by you. Uh, the first is the Bosnian University of Agriculture and natural resources um, uh, and uh, on behalf of the University of Buan is uh, Professor Samadino Nguaco uh, is Dean of Research and Graduate Students. Uh, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, welcome and thank you very much. 
So, Thank are you me. ready to, to present uh, your university? Yes, I'm ready. Great. Thank you very much. So, what should I do? Should I share the presentation? Yes, please. Uh, thank you very much and good morning, everybody. So I'm here to present on uh, my university, Botswana University of Agriculture and uh, Natural Resources. But before I present, I'd like to recognize uh, uh, those who are present here, especially my staff uh, that I'm working with. We have the uh, Professor Hulera, who's the Dean for Agricultural, Agribusiness Education and Extension, the Dean uh, for Faculty of Animal and Veterinary Sciences. We have uh, the Dean for Faculty of Agriculture, Professor Molawa. We have the Dean for Faculty of Science, Dr. Sibolai. And then we have the Dean for Faculty of Natural Resources, Professor Fanta. I didn't mention uh, Dr. Chabo, who's the Dean for Faculty of Animal and Veterinary Sciences, and also the Head of the Department for Animal Science and Production, Professor uh, Kwatala. So those are the team from Guang uh, who are here uh, present today. Some will join us as we as we continue because we had uh, we have another meeting. But before I can uh, continue, I would like to say that Guang uh, is a parastatal under the Ministry of Agricultural Development and Food Security. It's a public institution that was established by an Act of Parliament uh, in 2016. But it started operating as a university in uh, 2016. But we have been in existence since 1967, offering uh, certificate uh, programs. And then in 1991, we became a faculty of the University of Botswana, offering degree uh, programs as well as uh, graduate programs. So to start with Bua, so Bua, uh, is vision. Uh, is to be a vibrant world-class university of agriculture and then uh, natural resources. So we want to be seen as a very active university in the field of agriculture and natural resources. So our mission is to produce market-ready graduates for the agricultural and natural resources uh, sectors. So we want our graduates uh, to be market-ready with skills that can have input in the agricultural and natural resources sectors uh, nationally, and internationally. So those are the vision and the mission of the uh, BUA, in short. So in terms of our academic structure, it's headed by the uh, vice chancellor. Uh, but uh, for the academic structure, we do report to the deputy vice chancellor, academic affairs and research, under whom uh, we have my faculty, which is the faculty of research and graduate studies. And then we have other uh, faculties, five faculties who have got the departments under them. The Faculty of Agriculture has got three departments of crops and soil sciences, Department of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering, and the Department of Food Science and Technology. And then the Faculty of uh, Natural Resources has got three departments, Department of French and Forest Resources, Department of Land and Atmospheric Resources, <laughs> Department of Wildlife, and aquatic resources. And the Department of uh, Agribusiness, Education and Extension, that's, uh, that should be corrected. Uh, we have got three Department of Ag Agricultural and Applied Economics, Agricultural Education, and then Agricultural Extension. And then the Faculty of Science, we have the Department of Biological Sciences, Department of Biomedical Mathematics, and Department of Physical and Chemical Sciences. And then the last one, the Faculty of Animal and Veterinary Sciences. We have the Department of Veterinary Sciences, Department of Animal Sciences. And we are hoping in future to produce, to have the Department of Biomedical Sciences. In terms of the academic uh, programs, we have got three higher diplomas in agriculture, animal health and production, forestry and range and then one diploma in extension, and then one certificate, uh, six months a certificate in meat inspection. In terms of bachelor's degrees, we have got 10 bachelor's degrees that are listed there. Uh, we have got uh, four master's degrees, and then two doctoral degrees in animal science and crop production. We have uh, new programs uh, that have been approved by our board uh, that have been submitted to uh, Botswana Qualification Authority, 
which is our national accreditation and registering body. So we are still awaiting that we offer them in the uh, near future, uh, like a Bachelor of Arts in Agribusiness, BSc Biometry, BSc Biomathematics, BSc Biodiversity, BSc Wildlife Management, BSc Forest Sciences, BSc Crop Science, Plant Health Stream, BSc Crop Science, Soil Science Stream, uh, Masters in Food Science and Technology, and PhD in Food uh, Technology. And then just to mention that we are also working on other programs that we want to introduce both at undergraduate and uh, graduate level. So all the programs that we offer, we would like to have graduate programs in there. So in terms of uh, quick uh, statistics, we have uh, roughly around uh, 1,300 uh, students, uh, 40 graduate students, around 156 academic staff, here, in terms of CIC participants, we are talking about in-service courses that we offer to our stakeholders. So we have got one uh, week courses that we offer, and the other one is two weeks that we offer to our uh, various stakeholders. And our campus is around 700 uh, hectares, and the largest capacity uh, lecture hall that we have is about 250. Uh, in terms of student residence, we have got uh, around 528 beds. And then uh, liberal collection have got about 24,000 uh, books in our collection. And then our annual budget, uh, which we get from a uh, government uh, is roughly around 320 million. So that's a quick statistics of uh, our academic staff. We have around 156. And then uh, when the uh, university is fully functional, we expect this number to increase to around 150 academic staff against 5,000 uh, students. So these are some of our uh, physical facilities. We have a, a farm uh, in Notwani, uh, not far away from here. It's around uh, less than uh, five kilometers. And then we also have the Meat Industry Training uh, Institute, where you offer uh, short courses in certificate in meat, meat inspection. We have the, our gardens where students do their practicals. We have a dairy facility, and then we have an S observation uh, station where we uh, record uh, uh, the uh, climate data, and then we have our library. So in addition, we also have uh, classrooms and uh, laboratories, and then also uh, sports facilities. In terms of uh, new facilities, as we are uh, expanding, we have uh, four new uh, laboratories that are, are, will be handed over sometimes uh, next month. And then we also have two new lecture halls with the capacity to handle 250 uh, each. We have an expansion of the late night study and then uh, student hostels and also a new library where you offer uh, short courses. Uh, in terms of uh, research instrument as Buang, we have the Buang uh, research uh, strategy. So this is strategy is a, a tool to guide Buang uh, in its research activities. And then the strategy covers the strategic goals of the university, as well as the strategic uh, themes. We also have the research and ethics uh, policy, uh, which is uh, new. So the policy spells out how research should be carried out in an ethical manner. We also have the internationalization uh, policy uh, which spells out the need for collaboration with international organization. And then recently, just uh, last month, uh, we, uh, our board approved the graduate scholarship and bursaries policy, uh, where uh, the university would like to reserve some funds to sponsor our graduate student MSc PhD, as well as postdoctoral uh, degrees, so that we increase the profile of the, of the university. We also have a publication policies which guide uh, our staff how they should uh, pol uh, publish. And then we also have the teaching and research assistantship policy, which encourages the engagement of our graduate students in teaching and research with some remuneration. And then we also have the intellectual property policy, which aims to protect the innovations uh, coming out from the research that is carried out by staff in the, in the university. In terms of the strategic goals, as, uh, as they are in the Buang strategic plans, our strategic goals is that we need to want to develop 
sustainable high quality research infrastructure and facilities and support services. So here, uh, what we want is that we want to improve on our uh, infrastructure. So we have been having mostly uh, teaching laboratories. So we need more research laboratories so that we can increase our research uh, capability. We also want to increase staff participation in research. You find that some of the staff, uh, they don't do research, whereas uh, when you are employed, you are supposed to be engaged 40% in teaching, 40% in research, and then 20% in, uh, in uh, service. So we want to make sure that every staff member is involved in teaching, mainly through capacitating staff in writing uh, winning uh, research uh, proposals. And we also want to increase the number of graduate students. So right now the number is very low, so we want to increase that. We also want to increase the number of graduate uh, programs as we have seen. We have uh, new programs that have been approved and then uh, the faculties are working on other, other programs. We also want to improve uh, the quality of research output uh, so that we have a quality uh, research output. We want to increase, on, uh, increase research uh, funding uh, either nationally or internationally uh, where we'll be able to compete with other uh, uh, universities for those uh, research grants. So we also want to increase uh, research collaborations locally, internationally, like we are doing uh, right now. We also want to commercialize our research uh, outputs. In terms of collaboration and partnerships, we have had quite a lot of uh, partnerships uh, locally and then internationally, like uh, locally, uh, we uh, collaborate with the University of Botswana, uh, with BUST, Botswana International University of Science and Technology, we also uh, collaborate with the Department of Research, Science and Technology, and then uh, Botswana Innovation Hub. Uh, those are just uh, some. And then regionally, uh, we have uh, collaborations with ARC in South Africa, uh, Northwest University in South Africa and the University of uh, Pretoria. And then in our international partners, we are a member of the uh, Regional University Forum for Agriculture, that is uh, RUFORUM, uh, which is based in uh, Uganda. We are also a member of the African Association of Universities. We have had uh, collaborations with Kew Gardens in the uh, UK through a uh, uh, project and also with the University of Glasgow. And then in the US, we have had collaboration with the University of Tennessee, uh, which who have also signed an MOU, and then University of Sao Paulo in, uh, in Brazil. So Buang has signed MOU with many international, national, international collab uh, institutions mainly on uh, teaching and uh, as well as uh, research. So uh, we have had uh, uh, three projects with EU. We have had the bang food project uh, that was uh, quite a long time ago. And then after the bang food, we had the bumbling uh, project, uh, which I was part of. I think this was around uh, 2004 when it was funded uh, up to, to uh, 2009. And then now we have the Intermobility Africa uh, funding to support uh, graduate students here in, in Bua. In our research activities, we currently have uh, 12 externally funded projects. And then uh, we also have 14 uh, projects that are funded by the university. So the university uh, sets a fund uh, for research by staff and then uh, that is on competitive basis. So staff will submit their proposals, they're evaluated and then uh, funded. And then uh, you also have a journal called Botswana Journal of Agriculture and Applied Sciences where staff can uh, publish their research uh, products. So mm -hmm. in those pictures, those are some of the project activities that are uh, going on, crop monitoring, land degradation, indigenous plants, livestock management and uh, water conservation. The research teams that we have uh, that are also contained in our Buan research strategy, uh, we want to do uh, research on food, uh, nutrition, security, and safety, climate change, and then environment, water security, natural resources management, indigenous knowledge systems, and then higher education in agriculture and extension. So these teams, they cover the five uh, faculties that I've talked about. So from these teams, uh, we are able to uh, come up with a suggestion that 
as an university, we need to establish centers of excellence. So the centers of excellence, we have identified two that we want to establish. One is Center for uh, Bioeconomy, uh, which addresses agricultural, uh, industrial, and then environmental issues. So under agriculture, we have livestock improvement, crop improvement, technology improvement, uh, just like that. And then the other center that we would like to establish is Center for Sustainable Resources, covering water, soil, energy, indigenous knowledge, and then ecosystems uh, management. So those Dear are the professor, centers. Excuse me, the Professor uh, Wato. Uh, we're running very much behind schedule. Can I ask you to wrap up quickly so that- uh, Yes, this is, this is my last one. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So in terms of priorities and opportunities, uh, as Buang, we would like to appoint senior academic staff, especially professors. We have an advert that is ongoing, uh, that is running at present. The, the closing date, I think, is the state years of this month. And then we have to increase the number of graduate students. We want to increase the number of research projects locally, uh, international funded research, also improve the research infrastructure, we also want to publish quality research and then create those two centers that I've just talked about. And then we want to also expand into the natural resources uh, as it's our uh, new mandate uh, that we are exploring. And then also we want to create a graduate entrepreneurship program. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, um, uh, Professor um, uh, Guaco. Uh, and now, uh, I maybe we leave the, 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 the question time for the end. Uh, very interesting presentation and, and university. So now let me introduce you to Dr. Um, Tengi uh, Bokani Tengi, a lecturer in electrical computer and communication engineering. Uh, from the Botswana International University of Science and Technology. Uh, can you hear me? Are you ready to give us? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for the introduction. Yes, I can hear you. Let me just right. share my uh, screen. Lovely. Thank you very much. Well, good morning, everyone, uh, my colleagues locally and to the host abroad. Um, my name is Dr. Bokanyum Tengi. I am a lecturer in the electrical, computer, and telecommunications engineering. I will take you guys through um, just a snapshot of uh, what BUST has to offer or what it is. Um, BUST was established through a presidential directive. It is a government um, supported, financially supported academic institution that focuses on um, sciences and um, engineering and technology. Um, in November 2006, the operations commenced um, at BUST, which was located at a temporary location in Kaburuni uh, North. And then in February 2012, we saw the first academic year uh, for the students or the enrollment. And in February 2017, the inaugural graduation ceremony was held. We saw 58 students graduating from that batch, uh, comprising of Bachelor of Sciences and Master of Science. And to date, which is uh, the latest graduation, which was the fourth one held last year, it we graduated 391 graduates with bachelor degrees, uh, 378 of those, 10 with masters and PhD with three. So as you can see, you, we have really um, gone up with our enrollment numbers and uh, with postgraduate graduation as well. Um, BUST is located in the central district in Botswana, a, a small town called Palape. It sits on a 2,500 hectare site of uh, what we call Chapong Hills, which is very, very pretty. It's such a historical um, area, very ecological as well. Um, it is, we consider it to be central because we are 270 kilometers from the uh, capital city, which is Haburoni and 160 kilometers from Francistown. Um, we are along the main road, the North-South Highway. So we are accessible both by uh, rail and uh, road. We have close proximity to some um, notable engineering industry, uh, to name a few. We have the Murupule Power, um, state, uh, power Plant, which comes in handy for our engineering, electrical engineering students when it comes to 
industrial training. We also have Makoro for bricks, um, and then we have Orapa Mine, which also has a power plant. Um, BUSD, uh, the vision for this is to um, emerge as a premier research-based University of Science, Engineering, and Technology, and to be recognized internationally for quality and excellence in teaching. Um, our mission is to, um, to be able to produce world-class research and innovation in science, engineering, and technology uh, while we are contributing to the growth of the industry um, and develop both educational and both in, um, engineering industry and to also diversify our economy instead of just relying on um, natural resources for, for the economy, then we need to uh, also diversify our economy by developing and advancing knowledge-based uh, economy. BUSD has uh, three, two faculty, um, academic faculties and one center. We have the Faculty of Sciences, Faculty of Engineering, and the Center for Business and Entrepreneur, liter Academic Literacy and um, Business. Uh, under the Faculty of Sciences, we have six departments, Biological Sciences and Biotech, Chemical and Forensic, Computer, Mathematics and Statistical Science, Earth and Environmental Sciences, Physics and Astronomy. Um, both faculties offer bachelor's degree, master's and PhD as well. Um, and with the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, we have uh, five departments, chemical, materials and metallurgical, civil and environmental, computer, electrical and telecommunications, mechanical, energy and industrial, and we have mining and geological. Those are the departments under Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Um, the third, which is a center, is not a faculty. Um, they offer, it's a center for business management, entrepreneurship, and general education, which is in a way um, established to support our students. Since we want our, our aim is to graduate um, engineers um, who, and scientists with inter entrepreneurial skills. This is where um, we want to uh, uh, commercialize our research output. And we can only do so if we develop this, uh, our students' uh, entrepreneurial skills. So the center has uh, two departments, the academic literacy and social sciences, the business management and entrepreneurship. And they offer 14 courses, both under the academic literacy and social sciences and the business and entrepreneurship skills. Um, the goal is to uh, promote basic research and information literacy skills for our students and also to offer technical and reporting, report writing services. This center has come very instrumental, especially when it comes to um, thesis writing, proposal writing, grammar correction, uh, plagiarism check. And they, we, because we are very isolated from the central, which is Haburoni, we saw it fit to have such a center within our institution. Um, so the programs of study under these two, uh, the main faculties, the academic faculties, which is Faculty of Science and the Faculty of Engineering, we offer 21 bachelor degrees uh, collectively and 11 of those under, bachelor of, uh, under the Faculty of Science and uh, 10 of those under the um, Faculty of Engineering. We also offer 10 Master of Science degrees um, of the sciences and then the six master of engineering degrees. And we offer 21 doctoral degrees for both under both um, faculties. The enrollment as of 2019, it sits at 1,697 um, students. And mind you, when we started, we were at, um, our enrollment was around 1,458 um, students. And we've, we've tremendously increased intake or enrollment when it comes to postgraduate students. That's where you see a significant increase, especially with our master's um, students. Uh, for 2019 numbers, we said that 245 masters and 82 PhD students. And for graduation, 2019-2020 uh, academic year graduation, we graduated 378 bachelor degree students, um, 10 masters and three doctoral students. Our institution has 240 academic staff members. 
with 287 who are executive uh, management and support staff. Um, so our core values, we, are, um, we aspire to deliver international recognized quality um, and excellence of teaching and learning through research-based um, solutions. We strive to be a research-intensive um, institution with not only just literature research, but commercialization of our products uh, to promote innovation and entrepreneurship in our country, which is the way to diversify our economy. Um, so our core values are equality and diversity. We do have a very diverse uh, community from students, staff members, academics, um, uh, executive management as well. Uh, we continue to strive to, uh, for knowledge and understanding, uh, innovative teaching and learning formats where we individualize learning, we promote individual thinking, innovative thinking as well. Uh, we demand high performance and quality in our institution. We demand also high integrity in terms of our the, um, the work of um, the quality of the work that we produce through our research and our teaching. Um, so we do have um, a research center here at BUS and with our four main research themes, which is climate and society, where um, I in line with uh, the national development goals of our climate change, um, um, ethical, whatever the research that we are conducting are ethical and they're um, ecologically friendly. Um, any frontiers in science, um, to do with medicine, um, chemi uh, the chemical side where we can do um, medicine discovery. Um, we also focus on natural resource management. This is a sector where we um, conduct research on the natural resources that we have. How can we um, commercialize them? How can, can we extra extract any products that can be commercialized? And then we have the innovative technological products and services. This is where in engineering, and technology come into play. We are trying to um, design um, solutions, especially for the ag agricultural sector, looking at our farmers here, um, because farming is uh, a large sector um, of the economy. So if we can advance them or um, help them with some form of technology where they can also um, commercialize their um, business, I think that's what we are looking and um, renewable energy, solar energy is a very um, widely researched topic in, in, uh, in our institution, especially at the electrical and electronics engineering. Uh, we have two major projects uh, which are internationally funded where we are trying to electrify or to bring solar energy to some villages that are located far away from uh, the main grid. Um, in terms of our collaboration maps and for publications, um, from the Pure Elsevier, we have collaborated with a wide range of um, scholars in different countries. And if you uh, check the map, it will show you also the research, um, the most popular uh, research interests that have seen um, international collaborations. Those are mostly in the sciences than in the engineering um, faculty. We also have local industry collaborations. Um, one with the Botswana Defense Force, where we uh, develop, where they develop um, learning curricula that our, some of our um, learners can benefit from. We also exchange technical information for the benefit of research and um, development in the country. Uh, Debswana, the largest mining company in Botswana, di the diamond mining company in Botswana, we also have um, a memorandum of agreement to establish a research laboratory. Uh, for local interpre enterprise authority layer, we are fostering entrepreneurship skills for our um, scientists and engineering graduates. We also have the Bosona Oil Limited uh, company uh, where we are conducting research to, for, to go from coal to liquid project. Um, and the Special Economic Zones Authority where we identify and attract investors. Um, not mentioned here, we also have um, the established um, working relationships, research collaborations with the local institutions, the three other institutions that are also government uh, financially supported, Buang and um, BAC and University of Botswana. And um, we also have a good relationship with the Ministry of um, Tertiary Education, where UBU um, has been 
hosting uh, the National Science Week and STEM Festival every year. And that's a, a national event that is held across the country. For international academic collaborations, uh, most of them, we do have two parts where you can offer student exchange programs where some of our postgraduate students can visit these institutions to gain knowledge or um, conduct um, projects, uh, research-based projects or academic credits. And we also have research collaborations with various institutions that are listed here, University of Cincinnati, uh, Jomo Kenyatta University in Kenya, All Nations University uh, College in Ghana. Um, we have the uh, Itemba Labs in South Africa and the Radiation Protection Inspection is, um, sorry, in Botswana, which is a local um, radiation inspection authority in Botswana. Um, for Akita University in Japan, um, we have University of USN in Switzerland as yeah, well. Um, Tani, I'm okay. sorry to interrupt again. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, on the schedule, I'm so sorry. I'm so, okay, all right, so this one is just the uh, international partnerships with different countries, um, I mean, with different uh, agencies and uh, an international community uh, composition. We have 7% of international students enrollment and 20% of international staff members. And that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much, uh, uh, Professor Mitengi. And uh, as uh, for uh, the previous uh, speaker, maybe the questions will go at the end of this presentation. So without any um, hello, everybody. Thank you very um, much. <laughs> my name is um, Olga Belova. I look after um, Erasmus Plus cooperation at AFU. And okay, let me share the slides. So okay, let's um, let's get started. What are the principal lines of funding that can support cooperation between AFU and our Botswanian partners? Mm under Erasmus Plus. Well, the first one is um, so-called Key Action One. It supports mobility of individuals. And what it really, what it really means is that it uh, funds international mobility of staff and students in both directions. Um, the program is called International Credit Mobility because credits that are uh, taken by students during their stay should be recognized by their home institution towards their degree, whether it's bachelor, master, or PhD. So in terms of um, student mobility with Botswana, we have um, applied and received funding for doctoral mobility in both directions, as well as mobility of teaching and administrative staff for teaching and or training. So this is the first, um, let's say, line of funding that is available to us already. Another possibility under Erasmus Plus is to cooperate in capacity building projects. What it actually means is it's directed um, towards universities in partner countries, in this case Botswana, to help in their modernization, internationalization, and depending on the type of product, it can also contribute towards the modernization of the higher education system in that country. The type of activities that can be covered in capacity building projects include development of teaching modules, components, courses, transfer of teaching methodologies, exchange of experience, good practice, uh, maximum exploitation of ICT, which is especially relevant now during COVID. Um, it can support development and training of staff, both teaching staff and support staff, modernization of university services, for example, Mm, financial management, international relations, student support, or setting up of new services or new departments. Like, for example, in the presentation of Buan, there was, um, there, there was a, um, voiced a need for new centers of excellence. So this, for example, could be a possible, like this, this type of activity could possibly be um, applied for under a capacity building project. Who can participate in this type of project? at least two European countries and one partner country, so in this case Botswana, and um, three, as a minimum of three universities from Botswana and the same number of universities from European countries. So three universities on each side, three European, 
uh, three Botswanian universities. Now, if uh, there is a university um, in Botswana that uh, covers more than 50% of student population in the country, in that case, only one university can take part. Um, and in this type of project, AFU universities will cooperate on an individual basis, not as a consortium. Because as you can see, as a minimum, there should be three universities. So if we take it up to four and they need to be two European countries, it's just the project would take on a bigger dimension. Uh, so just to go back for a second to my previous slide, this type of funding that uh, supports visits of staff and doctoral students could be used to explore the needs, the potential interest, the areas of cooperation. Uh, it can act as seed funding to possibly with the view of exploring um, capacity building projects. So that's something that um, is um, can be kept in mind by those who apply for mobility to think, okay, maybe there can be something bigger that can um, arise from getting to know each other, getting to know the other institutions, spending some time, getting to know the other academics. So it's uh, useful to think of these two in combination. Now, uh, looking at the Erasmus program, as you may know, the current financial period, which started in 2014, is now coming to an end. And the new financial period will start in 2021 and will last until 2027. So we are now at the intersection when the previous financial period stops, is, is, is ending, and we are waiting now for the new guide of the new Erasmus program to be published in December, where all the details about the lines of funding available under this new program will be detailed. What will happen to ICM, this International Credit Mobility Program, and capacity building projects? Well, in 2021, next year, there won't be a call for applications for these two lines of funding, but they will resume from 2022. So this year, next year can be used again as a time, is, is gonna provide enough time to see if there is any possibility, any potential, enough time to prepare a proposal if there is mutual interest in doing that. And another thing to point out here is that under the new Erasmus program, our cooperation in international credit mobility can be both as a consortium, we can cooperate as a consortium, as AFU, and individual AFU universities will also have additional flexibility to use their funding that they will receive for European mobility to use it also as for uh, extra European mobility to fund their outgoing students to go to partner countries. This will be done uh, on a bilateral level. So each AFU university will decide, um, will talk to their partners and see um, how to fund um, their students for outgoing mobility. Okay, so let's just, uh, this is an overview of um, AFU participation in ICM program, International Credit Mobility, from its beginning in 2015. We have started with two countries, Russia and South Africa, and slowly uh, expanded our cooperation to countries in the Southeast Asia, to India, to Iran. Um, and also this year we have received funding for Namibia and Botswana uh, for 10 mobilities in each country. And the number of mobilities under which label indicates how many people, staff and students have moved uh, between that country and Spain since uh, we have applied for funding. And we just uh, also, it's worth mentioning there was already a capacity building project that was um, carried out in cooperation with Botswana, with the university, in particular with the University of Botswana that is here on the list of partners in the first column. And this, um, thanks to this project, uh, there was a master program in sustainable energy, energy that was developed and was delivered in the participating African universities. It set a good precedent for academics from different fields to interact 
to develop new teaching content, to continue delivering it because the program is still up and running and functioning. So it's good to already have a precedent that there was already a seed planted, let's say, and hopefully um, there'll be more interest um, arising from that. Okay, just to focus on the um, funding that we have already received this year for international credit mobility. You can see the partner universities on both sides. So if you universities are one and the participating for university from what's one on the other and the basic grant conditions outlined in the table. We have funding for mobility both ways on for doctoral students and for staff, both teaching staff and um, support staff. You can see the length of the stay, uh, the subsistence rates in case of students per month and in case of staff per day. Just to note that the staff mobility is five days long plus two days for travel, so it's one week altogether. And the travel allowance is the same for everyone because the distance is the same. The distance traveled will be the same. Just um, to note here that we have six mobilities available for staff to come from Botswana to Spain, and four of those will be earmarked for a possible training um, week. We, when we start cooperating with a new country, with new university partners, it's, uh, we always find it useful to organize a week of training for us, or for, for, for them, <laughs> for us. So we invite representatives of international offices or those who will be working closely with managing Erasmus Plus mobilities. We invite them um, over to Spain to spend the week here to visit all four universities, to have a working session on the management of Erasmus Plus mobilities. And it's useful for both parties, for both sides to get to know each other, to put um, names and faces and, you know, and just to have a closer personal interaction, which always helps when it comes to working together. So when travel becomes possible, uh, we have this in mind to organize a week of this kind for our Botswanian partners. Uh, so when the call is out, we are currently preparing it. It will be open. It will open in December. We will invite applications from uh, uh, one representative per institution, a representative of, an, of international office, or you know those who will be responsible for Erasmus Plus mobilities to apply. In case this has become possible, this is organized. We have this um, already. You know we have the application. The competition will be open to all subject fields and there won't be any previous grant assignation or allocation to any partner. So, for example, all Spanish universities will compete for the grants that are available to go from Spain to Botswana and vice versa. It's simply just the number of grants that we have doesn't allow for any allocation. So we just um, do it strictly on merit basis. And just a few words on application and selection process. The application is done through our website and it's quite um, straightforward. Staff are asked to submit their CV and an outline of activities to be carried out. The teaching plan of what they plan to do or teaching or training um, during their stay and PG students, for PG students it's the same plus a recommendation letter. The selection committee will um, consist of the vice rectors of international relations some of who are present today. And uh, the selection criteria are as follows here. And all this will, will be outlined in detail in our call for applications, which we are currently preparing. And as soon as it's published, I'll contact our partner universities informing them and we'll have an opportunity to talk about any questions regarding the management of applications and um, the mobilities. On our website already, we have a guide for doctoral students and staff. This is just an example from last year. So, uh, and here is the, 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 web, the, the web address. So in the meantime, while we're preparing this year's application, um, this year's call, you can already go to our website and check the materials available from last year. Uh, the majority, the main structure, the main, um, let's say, features will be the same. So you can already get an idea of how to prepare an application, what other steps to take, who needs to be contacted, what other things to keep in mind. The main thing is to have somebody, a, an academic, in the case of a doctoral student, a supervisor, also an academic, 
who is interested in your research area and who would be able to act as a host for your stay. So today's event is useful in the sense that, in the sense that um, a contact can be made, or at least you can identify and see and, and meet those who are working in the same area or similar area as yours, and possibly could be interested in, in hosting a mobility or coming on mobility as well. And because we are so many institutions, we have four universities uh, involved in the management of this um, funding, we have found it useful to have a protocol, a very simple outline of who is doing what, at what stage of the mobility, what are the partners, the university's role, what are the responsibility. And this protocol has been shared by email, I've sent it by email to Botswana universities when informing them of the award. So if there is anybody who needs uh, to see the document, you know, I can share it. Uh, or if there is new people coming on board that need to, to see, uh, uh, there is no problem in that. Okay, this is just a glimpse on, on, on what it's like. And in very kind of um, big, like, <laughs> Uh, let's say on a very kind of general level, just to for you to have an idea very schematically, um, this, these responsibilities boil down to partner universities on each side, on the Spanish side, and on the partner country side, they receive um, the, well, they help the applicants prepare the applications, they receive the mobility, they help mobility participants have the best time possible, integrating them in the in their university life and providing necessary documentation like the arrival certificates. I mean, these are the technicalities that can we can talk about uh, already directly when managing um, the, the mobility. And the consortium, its role is to oversee the running of the whole project, making sure it's smooth, it's coordinated, all the phases are implemented in a timely manner, and that uh, reporting is happening also appropriately to the grant giving body, which is the Spanish National Agency, which manages uh, Erasmus Plus funds on the behalf of the European Commission. And also for you to have an idea of who is involved in the management of this program at AFU, you can see that the vice rectors and the directors of international relations who are also present here today um, are involved. The managers of um, ICM projects at each university who are based at the international offices and I provide the necessary support to them. We meet regularly now cinematically and make sure that uh, we, we monitor the uh, implementation of the project, make sure that the selection is happening, that you know all, everything is recorded and done in a um, basically in a timely and coordinated way. And just to outline perhaps the basic, the most important parts of the responsibilities of partner university, partner universities. First of all is dissemination. Each part of the university, when the call is out, is asked to share it as widely as possible within the university community, making sure that people who would be interested know about it, know how to apply, who to ask for advice, and also when participants come back after the mobility, helping them share their experience so that the impact goes beyond an individual and is beneficial also to people uh, who might be who might be for whom it might be useful. On our website, there is a repository of the Erasmus success stories. These are the stories that we have asked our previous participants to share uh, that have, um, you know, perhaps the, the most, the things that they like most, that they like less, how it impacted their professional and personal development. So it makes an interesting read for those who are interested to apply for partner universities as well. And it helps us all on the institutional level to give visibility to this type of programs and the opportunities that it gives both individuals and, and the universities. Um, apart from the support for mobility participants that I already mentioned, like receiving them, integrating them in the university life, uh, we also try to provide support for applicants from disadvantaged backgrounds. They are welcome to apply. Um, it can be geographical obstacles, economic obstacles, physical disability. We do have experience in hosting a doctoral Iranian student 
that is that was blind, and it, it uh, Universidad Carlos III de Madrid uh, hosted this mobility. It went well. The student made most of their time. So we um, there is additional funding for which we will need to apply in case there is a disabled student coming. So the Erasmus program is um, does prioritize inclusivity, uh, diversity. So these type of applications are also welcome. In South Africa, we have a facilitator for our ICM program. It's a Spanish person, Spanish, Spanish person that works as an academic, as a full-time lecturer uh, at the University of Cape Town, and he acts as a bridge between our <laughs> between the two sides because he knows the Spanish reality and he knows very well what what it's like working and living at the South African, um, what 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 what's life is like there, and he helps us to solve doubts, uh, whether they're academic or practical. So um, that's something that we really value. Uh, and if we have an opportunity or possibility to have somebody uh, or to have somebody in a similar role in Botswana, we always would love that. And, you know, um, just, you know, if the, if the opportunity arises, that would be great. And we, of course, yeah, provide uh, as much support as possible in relation to visa. Uh, we inform the Spanish embassy uh, in in the relevant country of the selected applicants, so that when their visa application comes through, they already know that it's a it's an authentic application, and they try to also um, support it. Now, recognition of mobility is really the most important part of the whole thing, because uh, if there isn't recognition by the sending institution, then there is no point. Uh, the, the mobility cannot be recognized as having the Erasmus Plus label. So it's very important that the, the sending institution counts the doctoral state towards the PhD degree and that staff mobility is also recognized. Um, and, and if the staff recognition cannot be as immediate and perhaps tangible as that of students uh, recognition, it can be recognized by the researcher by demonstrating how the, the visit, the, the exchange impacted their profile, how it, it uh, demonstrated their ability to develop customized and deliver customized teaching, how to it increase their international exposure, how it improved their say intercultural competencies or professional competencies and so on. So it's important for all of us involved <laughs> for this program to function well and continue receiving funding to demonstrate and to actually recognize these, um, these days. Uh, Olga, can I interrupt you a second? Please? Last slide. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank Sorry you. Okay, no problem. Uh, so ICM didn't stop during COVID. It was adapted. Now mobilities can be done on site, online, online or blended, meaning combining both. Uh, there was a clear message from the European Commission that Erasmus Plus continues, but the grant can only pay, be paid in case there is on-site mobility, in case there is actually expense incurred by the participant uh, when traveling to the other country. If the mobility is purely online, the grant is not paid. If it's blended, then uh, the part that is actually the physical mobility, that's what you get paid for, and it has to be as a minimum of three months. But hopefully, by the time we select the participants to and from Botswana, it's going to be like springtime. So perhaps, you know, the pandemic will be will ease. And anyway, we have enough time under this project. The grants will be valid until uh, July 2023. So hopefully uh, things will go back to normal or new normal and it, uh, it, it, the, the mobility will be possible. And that's it for me. Thank you very much. Here are the contact details and the website address where you can find more information. Uh, thank you so very much, uh, Olga. Um, thank you. I, I, I hope that uh, we are ready to hear the presentation of uh, University of Botswana. Uh, Professor Mapabanga, uh, I think that uh, Gloria will... Okay, there we go, great. So please, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you. Sorry for the disconnect. I I um I got disconnected. Uh, so I think I'm back. Okay, no problem. Yes, so let me start my. How many yes, minutes do I have? Less than ten, ten minutes. Ten minutes. 
10 minutes, uh, yeah, just 10 minutes if, if possible. Uh, we will be grateful. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm uh, uh, Dorothy Babanga from the University of Botswana. So I'll just simply be uh, presenting about our university and just letting you know what we have in terms of uh, facilities, programs, and our international uh, partnerships. I'm currently the acting uh, director in the Office of International Education and Partnerships. And I'm attending with my colleagues, Tebo uh, is the manager, and then um, uh, Mr. Kudu, who is the uh, deputy director. So I'll just take you through uh, what we have as an industry and uh, see how, you know, especially areas that we can uh, collaborate in. And this is just to show uh, the structure of the university. Uh, it is a, a big university with a, a vice chancellor, and we do have a deputy vice chancellors and also a directors, and especially the faculties where we do have deans and uh, deputy deans to help uh, manage the uh, academic uh, uh, aspect of the university. And we do have quite a number of faculties, up to nine faculties, as you can see. Uh, business, education, engineering, and the rest. And we also have a, a school of uh, a graduate studies. And you know, this structure, you know, as the university has been in existence for more than 30 years, uh, it is uh, one of the oldest universities. And as you can see uh, later. And um, next slide, please. I, uh, you know, we we introduced a new strategy uh, uh, in, 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 in September 2020 uh, because our old strategy expired uh, last year. So this year we introduced a new strategy and it's just to try and re-engineer the investment goals and the vision, uh, but we still uh, aim to remain at the center of academic excellence and also uh, our values. We can go to the next uh, slide where really our core values is all about professionalism, accountability, equity and diversity, which also goes with the uh, youth university. But to simply means that, uh, you know, the way you carry yourself as a human being, and of course, creativity and, and innovation. Uh, next slide. Yes, uh, these are the most important uh, strategic goals. Like I said, uh, they were introduced by our vice chancellor. And of course, it was online because of the COVID in September 2020. And we have really tried to re-engineer our strategic goals, uh, where the first one is just high quality and well-rounded uh, graduates, uh, deliver high quality programs, economic and social engagement, and of course, the impact, because impact is very important, maximization of revenue and investment, remember the sustainable development goals, where really everything is all about sustainability, uh, operational efficiency, effectiveness, and then also looking at our staff there uh, to make sure that they deliver uh, very good, uh, high quality uh, programs. Institutional performance, of course, we need to re engineer ourselves so that we are better uh, institution and also expand uh, the utilization of high tech uh, knowledge uh, resources. And yes. Uh, information technology, especially under the COVID-19, it is a very key area that we also try to focus on. And as you can see, uh, we've really tried to make sure that, you know, education is accessible online, uh, particularly after the COVID-19, where we do have a Wi-Fi on campus, including student hostels. We do have a PCs for staff and also for students and then after the COVID-19, we tried as much as possible to allocate a, 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 a you know, card to students so that they can access a, a information about the courses uh, at on campus, even uh, outside uh, the campus. Next slide, please. Yes, these are the faculties that I mentioned earlier on where we do have first of all the faculty of business and we do offer a lot of business related programs accounting managing tourism graduate studies and also a master's a degree uh, and PhDs under the faculty of business uh, the next one is the next slide please yes faculty of education which is now the educational 
uh, programs where uh, we do focus on our adult education, uh, mathematics and science. And of course, we also have a PhD and master's degree program under the Faculty of Education. Uh, the next one is that of engineering. Next slide. Yes, engineering, uh, where we also have this uh, faculty to focus on our aspirations to offer the best engineering and technology program, uh, programs. And here we also collaborate uh, with other uh, universities, for example, VUST, which is in Palabe, and uh, the uh, Botswana uh, 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 Innovation Hub, so that we do work together with these institutions to enhance our programs and also to make sure that we have uh, employable uh, graduates, especially experienced in engineering and, and technology. Next, yes, humanities is all about the languages, it's all about the history, it's all about the media and, uh, and, and, and languages. So we do have this humanities faculty to take care of this aspect. And also when it comes to international partnerships, we do have a partner with other universities so that they can take advantage of uh, what we have and also uh, we collaborate in terms, for example, we have the Chinese studies, uh, we've got visual arts, and we do have international partners that enhance uh, what we have. And then we also share experience with them on what we can offer uh, from the Faculty of Humanities. Next slide. Yes, medicine, very, very important uh, faculty in our, uh, our university. Uh, we offer, we have all these 12 uh, departments, and you can see it's quite a vast uh, 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 faculty, and it does offer all these uh, 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 programs in medicine. And one of the important aspects about the Faculty of Medicine is that they do collaborate with the uh, uh, international partners such as the Harvard University, uh, the UPenn, and also the Belinda Gates, where we have held a lot of collaborations in terms of the HIV. And also we do have a government medical hospital which is uh, based at the University of Botswana. So the Faculty of Medicine also works very closely with that university, especially cases related to uh, the treatment of uh, COVID-19 patients. So in this area, I must say, we are also doing very well uh, as the University of Botswana. And we collaborate with international universities in terms of sending students uh, for exchange and also for uh, experience. Health sciences is another area here where we do have uh, uh, the School of uh, Allied Health uh, Professions, nursing public health, and we do have both uh, graduate and, 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 and undergraduate uh, programs. And here is also another very good area of uh, collaboration. Science also, uh, you know, uh, all areas of science, computer, environmental, mathematics, physics, very good facilities we also have and another excellent uh, area of uh, uh, collaboration. Social sciences, there, uh, 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 you know, we have all these eight departments and you can see, you know, we do have quite a lot of extensive areas that we can collaborate with others and we have a lot of MOUs, I must mention, uh, with each and every uh, faculty and department uh, mentioned uh, I, I, I end this uh, slide. Uh, the next slide, please. Yes, we do have centers, just like uh, these mentioned. We do have all these centers where we are trying to promote all this uh, research, uh, in, especially the Ukavango Research Center, which is based uh, uh, in the Delta, uh, the Center for HIV, also very, very prominent center, attracting a lot of collaborations. Students from overseas, they come in, and they do a lot of research on HIV and AIDS and share with the university at the country at large. Culture and peace, uh, indigenous knowledge, and also the CERN and the Center for Strategic Studies. So all these centers were really established to promote uh, excellence in terms of research and also institutional uh, development. Um, uh, Professor Pabanga, I must really ask you to uh, wrap up now because we are running really behind yes, schedule. Yes, yes. Just, just a few more. A few more. Next slide, please. <coughs> yes, and this is the international office where all the partnerships and the um, uh, memoranda of understanding are, are signed, are revised, and, uh, and are implemented. So we do have all these activities. And if you can go to the next slide. Um, 
where you know we do have all this uh, collaborative uh, global reach with uh, international organizations with institutions like the uh, a4u and uh, we do collaborate in research curriculum and any other uh, related areas next slide yes and this is just an important information about ub one of the oldest universities in the country we do a lot of research a very good library Excellent facilities. Next slide. And, you know, we have one of the highest number of professors, 180, and a vibrant campus, a very peaceful country, of course, for all our partners in Botswana. And finally, uh, the next slides are just mainly about our international students, the facilities that we have, so that we can uh, uh, encourage uh, partnerships and show our international partners that we do have the facilities, the best facilities, the best experience, and hopefully uh, students exchange stuff and all that, they'll be able to come and enjoy what we have uh, in terms of excellence and or in terms of research and uh, 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 teaching uh, with our collaborative uh, partners. Thank you very much for listening. I also apologize for the loss in connection, and I do hope that we will from now on not collaborate and form excellent uh, 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 partnerships with you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we apologize because, uh, yes, the last one always is, 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 is the one in, in, in more trouble, but uh, we have had uh, technical uh, uh, problems all, all over from the very beginning. Anyway, I, I, would, I won't give uh, the, the time for, for questions. I think that these presentations, this uh, recording will be live uh, uh, as many times as you uh, every one of you want to have the generalities and and i think we we should uh, stop for three minutes uh, so we to come back at uh, uh, at uh, 11 45 and i will ask the sessions uh, in particular um, there are two sessions that i have uh, less number of participants if i'm if i understand if humanities and um, and uh, technology and uh, so if, if we can just uh, uh, be uh, a bit, uh, you know, uh, really to, 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 to be shorter in, in, our, in our interventions from, from now on. Uh, so in, 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 in three minutes, uh, we come back 45. Uh, it's okay for you and we start humanities. Uh, Marius okay. Martinez, who's uh, I think the chair for the humanities will <laughs> won't forgive me for this uh, stolen um, at the time, but uh, I'm sure that he will, he will perform very, very well as a chairman. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, just to remind you very yes. quickly that uh, all you have to do is just, if you need to, to stay to, any, to more than one session, don't leave the event, just connect and just um, turn on your, your screen and, or your mic whenever you need it. Uh, also, please note that if you need to, um, if at any point uh, two of you or more than two of you need a face-to-face -face meeting, uh, you can ask me, the, the uh, ad hoc session manager, uh, and we'll create a, an ad hoc session for you specially. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for your patience. See you in three minutes. I think uh, we are all back. Uh, I hope so. In particular, the chair of the of this session uh, dedicated to uh, humanities, uh, arts and uh, humanities, uh, Professor Marius Martinez, who's the vice rector for internationalization of the Universidad Autónoma of Barcelona. Uh, Marius, uh, the floor is yours and of all the participants. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Carmela. Uh, it is a great pleasure being here with all of you. Uh, I have very nice rememberings, very nice uh, uh, images from Botswana when we have the chance of visiting your wonderful universities and your wonderful country a year ago. Unfortunately, now you are not able to come to our campuses, but I'm sure within a year time you will be able to. And you or some of your faculty will be able to come and visit us and, and, and enjoy also almost, almost, I would say, in the same way as we enjoyed your wonderful campuses and your wonderful country. 
So uh, we are out of schedule. I will ask Gloria Ruiz. Gloria, how how much time do we have for this session? We're very very behind schedule. Uh, it's now. Let me see. Um, the next one is supposed to start now, so we practically <laughs> have no time at all. Um, just I don't know. Keep it. Um, okay, fifteen minutes, minutes, twenty minutes. Now fifteen minutes. Yes, please. I would say fifteen minutes. That's yeah, that okay. Would be Thank you. Thank so, you very much. Thank you. We are going to do our best. So uh, immediately, I will give the floor to the first uh, participant uh, in this session. There were no no uh, participants from Botswana registered in this particular session on humanities, but we know that uh, some of the universities we've visited showed uh, their interest on on um, on humanities. Uh, so. Uh, uh, let me, I have a, quite a mess in my computer, sorry, I, I would like to find the list of people uh, involved in this session. Excuse me a second, can you all turn on your, um, oh, I see, there's some people who don't have their camera on, just, uh, just to remind you that you can now with yourselves. Gloria, I'm yes. not able to find no. the, the list. The okay, list. I can I, I, I can tell you. Uh, tell I, I, the list. Okay, let me. I was trying to send you the most updated one today, but I didn't get down to it. Sorry, Maris. I'll try to send it to you. Uh, Sofia see. Fonseca, I think. Uh, let's see if I can share it with you. From, from uh, Universitat Autonoma Barcelona, Sofia Fonseca, maybe. Okay, Sofia, are you on the on the room? I'm trying okay. no no okay okay, okay don't worry we we go next one Alejandro Valina is is he maybe okay. I mean I, I suppose no. that <laughs> what's sorry what's what's the problem what's I'm sorry I, I have this the list in front of me uh okay. I'm trying to, to send you I'll send it to you by email because okay. I can't see how to share it here on the chat I, I think that Elena Ritondale was uh, asking for the floor, please. Uh. A center for audiovisual um, pro production of, uh, of videos and to to, in order to preserve the culture. We are very interested in continuing this path not only to make films, but to make, create awareness and to give educational tools to make movies, because we think that African, are they themselves, the one who have to decide what kind of, um, of heritage they want to preserve and in what way to preserve it, and not only to preserve, but also to disseminate. We, are, we have plenty of technical resources, and uh, I have many, many ideas about how we can preserve and disseminate and share with the world, but also with African people, the richness, variety, and the vastness of their, their culture. And this is, this, is the, um, this is the way in which we are ready to continue working, uh, assuming that more and more countries can join these uh, these objectives okay thank you thank you thank you thank you very much alejandra let's move very fast if gilhem naro is here in the room from upf gilhem are you here he's not he's, he's not. not he's not he couldn't make it but anyway he he's very interested in uh, languages and uh, well in any case we'll follow up the the contacts and maybe he will contact uh, people who are interested in language courses spanish courses etc okay thank you okay, thank you so now we have consumed these 15 minutes but uh, i was renamed in, in botswana as my colleagues know uh, i will give the floor now to uh, dorothy pavanga or samodimon wanko or bokanim tengi our friends from botswana and i was saying that i was renamed because i was renamed with the name of Bo uh, boipuso which means independent so I will be independent from the time regulations my colleagues has <laughs> made me, and I will have the chance to invite our Botswana friends if they want to say something uh, to uh, finish this uh, fast 
an intense session on humanities. So, uh, Dorothy, do you want to add something? The floor is yours if you want. Can I also oh. say something from Buan? Of course. <laughs> of course. Yes, let me let me start and thank you for your excellent presentation and from the presentations that I've made. And Buipuso, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, as, yeah, I mean, your presentations were very precise and to the point. And as, as you've seen, we have all these faculties and departments of languages and heritage and all that. So what we need to do is now to follow up after this, uh, because I didn't bring all the deans and the head of departments. Uh, I'm going to write a short report and also identify all these areas that you have mentioned, which are very exciting. And I think at the University of Botswana, some of the areas we really need that push, especially in terms of languages, heritage, making movies and all that. So I'm very happy that you presented that. And we are definitely going to follow up uh, with the University of Botswana. Thank you, Bipuso, and your team. Thank you so much, uh, Dorothy. Um, we will forward all this information with further details to your universities, and you will be able to forward this information to your deans, etc. So I will give the floor immediately to Samodino and Banco. Samodino, if you want to add something, the floor is yours. Uh, I have with me a Prof. Ulela. She would like to say something regarding humanities. Prof. Ulela? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Prof. And thank you, Tim. My name is Hulela, like he said. I'm from the Faculty of Agribusiness Education and Extension. Therefore, I represent three departments which deals with the issues that are related to humanity, but going into agriculture and natural resources at this university. This is the faculty that cuts across all uh, faculties in the university with regard to agriculture and natural resources. Our interest in this faculty is mainly on collaboration research, partnership, uh, capacity building, and also extension of the new knowledge in the university as far as agriculture and natural resources are concerned. We are um, a, a faculty that uh, wants to do a lot of research and also uh, do a lot of communication because we offer communication and study skills. I heard colleagues talking about language and also development of skills and so on. So this is the faculty that can collaborate with you as far as communication and study skills are concerned. We would like to see us uh, training our graduates to the extent that they can be able to disseminate all the new knowledge that is um, generated in this university without any challenge. For them to be able to do that, they need to develop some skills that will enable them to be to, to go into the community and also the international and communicate without any challenge. We recently have a number of students that are from the international community. And if, as we move on as a faculty, would like to see us also developing some other languages that can enable them to communicate without any difficulty. So this is the Faculty of Agribusiness Education and, um, and Extension, which is called FI. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Uh, finally, I will give the floor to Bokanim Tengi, and then if there's some other university who has not talked, I was giving the floor to these three people because they were registered specifically to this session, only because of that. But if there's some other oh. friends from Botswana and other universities, of course, you will have the chance to uh, give us a, a short speech of one or two minutes each. Mm -hmm. So um, Bokanim Tengi, are you on the, on the... yes, there yes. you are. Oh. Hi, Marius, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, although we are not centered on language um, uh, development, we do have a center that I highlighted. And so far we are only offering Chinese language as the one of the foreign languages. But I do believe that um, equipping our um, scientists and engineers with diversity of skills is necessary for them to compete in a, in a global stage. And uh, by... Um, 
this is just like um, programming. These days, you, you don't only learn your core skills, you need to diversify your skills if you're gonna uh, compete on a global stage. Uh, I'm looking at, uh, we are collaborating with an institution from Madrid that speaks Spanish and we don't speak the language. But if we know the language, then it will make this uh, communication much easier. But we are open to collaborations, um, maybe online uh, language courses that we can offer our engineers and scientists as well. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So I see Egitano Olatunde, who is on, 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 the, on the room. Maybe if he wants to uh, say something in the session, or if there's any other Botswana friend, I will give the floor to them just for one or two minutes, and we will close the session. So yeah, Egitano, go ahead. Oh, you, you are muted now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Dr. Mutengi has mentioned that as a science and technology university, our students need diversity of skills, especially in the aspect of languages, as especially also in the aspect of uh, bringing in the arts and humanities into sciences to be able to benefit the community. I think it's a very good area that uh, the two units are, are built and the consortium can collaborate in. Thank you. Thank you very much. So if there's no other uh, friend who wants to raise the hand, then I will, final, I will finally close this session thanking you for your capacity of synthesizing information. Carmela, sorry for this uh this uh for stealing 10 minutes more but it's as okay you, my name means independent <laughs> nothing more to say thank you so much to thank everybody uh, let's move on to the second next session thank you carmela right thank you so very much uh, marius uh, you were very lucky to be in Botswana. i was not lucky enough to, to i was not able to go but i will go certainly um now we we, we can go to the session on on, on science if i'm uh, if i'm right so please uh, uh, mathilde uh, uh, who's the director of the international uh, relation office in madrid on the university of madrid uh, the floor is yours to, to chair this uh, session, which uh, has a lot of uh, participants. Mati? Yeah, hello. Thank you, Carmela. Can you hear me properly? It's OK? Yeah, yes. OK, well, uh, first of all, yes, sorry, because my camera is not working. I don't know why, but I, at least you can hear me. Uh, welcome to the science thematic sessions. Let me introduce myself. I'm Matilde Delgado. I'm the head of the International Relations Service at University Autonoma of Madrid. Uh, and I'm going to be the facilitator for this session. Uh, just to remind you that if some of you want to have a face-to-face, -face, you can send a, uh, a message to the, to the chat, to the session manager, and she will organize it to you. Okay. And just to remind you also that at the end of the meeting, uh, we will send to you, we will facilitate to you a short minutes. Uh, now, please, we can uh, give the floor to participants. Let's start with the Spanish University by alphabetical order. We can start with Universidad Autónoma of Barcelona. Uh, let's start maybe with Alberto Ayepuz. Alberto, are you here? Alberto is actually to make it. He's just asked if there's anybody who has uh, uh, interest in uh, veteran studies uh, to um, to tell me, and uh, I'll I'll ask him to join us, or we can organize a face-to-face -face meeting. Okay. So okay. just over the chat, let me know. Okay. From Autonoma Universidad Autonoma de Barcelona, also is Katia uh, Katia. She's the head of the International Relations Office at that university. I don't know whether you want to say something, Katia. Okay, let's go with the next one. Mm -hmm. Aurora Ruiz Herrera. Are you here, Aurora? The, the, Neither? No. Okay, next one from Autónoma de Barcelona. Esther Fernández. Let's go then to the next university, Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. Call Nansteiner, are you here? 
here. Okay, you you have to switch on the microphone. And we cannot hear you. Okay. No, I, okay. I, Floor is yours. <clears throat> okay. So I'm actually from one of these mixed institutes. It's a mixed institute between the University uh, Autonom Autonomous University of Madrid and the Spanish Research Council, Physic. And our institute is the Institute for Theoretical Physics. Uh, we are specialized in basic theoretical uh, research in, in physics. And what we are doing is uh, reaches from cosmology, astrophysics, uh, gravitational waves to particle physics, theoretical particle physics. We have uh, connections and work with uh, uh, European uh, Research uh, Center about um, particle physics at CERN in, in Geneva and physics for the LHC. And, and uh, recently also we opened a new branch in our institute, which is uh, centered on quantum information and quantum technology. Um, yeah, so that's basically a small introduction to our institute. And, and so if there's any interest, uh, uh, we would be certainly interested in collaborating. And if there's any interest uh, from your side, Botswana side, to collaborate with us, yeah, so we are open to collaborations i said yeah we also uh, do the master's program in theoretical physics at the at the autonomous university and we also run of course phd programs and all of these programs we can we are open for collaboration visiting of scientists and similar things okay that's... okay thank you thank you car nurse first from university autonom in madrid dimitri jakubovic is he here at the meeting now okay let's Go to the next one, uh, Professor Hemma Dominguez from Medicine. Yes, uh, I, she 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 couldn't make it. Uh, she, we have been in contact, <clears throat> so I can I can present uh, what she wanted to sh to say. I am actually a professor in the in the Faculty of, of Medicine, and Hemma is uh, actually the vice dean for uh, for uh, international uh, for internationalization. Um, so uh, I, we have uh, we knew already, but we have seen today that uh, the University of Botswana has a strong medical uh, school and, and health science uh, <clears throat> related um, uh, degrees and, and, and activities. So um, actually, the, the, the Faculty of Medicine in uh, Universidad Autónoma of Madrid is a, is a, is a very strong uh, uh, and reputed. Um, faculty with uh, research going on, uh, with uh, uh, different uh, degrees, nursing, uh, medicine, of course, uh, uh, nutrition, and uh, partly biochemistry uh, degree, uh, together with the Faculty of Sciences in, in, in the same university. Uh, so we, we, we really would uh, search for uh, exchange of students, uh, um, bachelor students, uh, um, master students, and I think that also we could uh, we have had a very uh, successful uh, exchange with uh, South African um, universities uh, uh, from, from a faculty from uh, from medicine. So so we could also search for that. Uh, definitely, we, we should uh, keep in touch uh, with uh, you from now on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carmela. Now, Professor Jesus Marugam, you are not here, I think. Okay, next, Esperanza Lopez. You have to turn on the microphone. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. perfect. So I belong to the same institute as uh, Carl, the Institute of uh, Theoretical Physics. So he explained already what we, what we work on. We are Institute of Fundamental Physics. We cover many branches uh, related uh, to quantum theory and particle physics. And I just wanted to add that uh, uh, in addition to, of course, to collaboration, we are really open to training and maybe even uh, through internet, through video conferences. So, so uh, if uh, there is some interest, so please contact us. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Professor Jose Luis Rubio. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm working with the microphone and the camera, is okay? And okay. Well, uh, I am Jose Rubio, I'm professor in the uh, Department of Ecology 
Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. And um, we are interested in uh, ethnoecology uh, of crocodiles, specifically. Uh, the relationship between animals and human and um, the implications for conservation uh, by means, especially uh, tourism. And uh, well, this is the line uh, we see, I think we could uh, share with, with those one universities. Okay, thank you. Next one, Professor Manuel Alcamí. Hello, I'm from the Department of Chemistry. It's a department that is mainly focused in theoretical chemistry. And I'm also the coordinator of an Erasmus Mundus Master in Theoretical Chemistry and Computational Modeling. And in this Erasmus Mundus programs, there are the possibility to attract the students from all the world, of course, also to open to Oswanian students. And at the moment, we have an open call for students to come to, to do the master in, in any of these nine universities. Um, these are very good grants to do the master in two years. And it also contemplates the possibility to exchange of teachers. So there is some budget also to, to, to the exchange of teachers. So this is open at the moment. They will be running for the next three years. And I think it's a good opportunity if you are in your students or you are interested in theoretical chemistry to, to, to come to Madrid. So in case uh, you have any interest in this area, please contact me and I can give you more information about this particular program in theoretical chemistry. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Professor Alcami. Next one, Professor Jose Luis Viejo. Okay, let's start then with the next university, Universidad yes, Carlos. Sorry, sorry, can oh, you sorry. hear me? Okay, yeah, 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 we can. Ah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. sorry. There was some trouble in my microphone. Yeah, I am uh, Jose Luis Viejo, and I'm entomologist. I offer the possibility to participate in the our master of biodiversity because uh, I think uh, we are working in, the, in perhaps the most important thing uh, for the uh, students of insect plants uh, or other animals and other plants in a very, very biodiversity uh, rich country as uh, Botswana. And perhaps uh, it's very, very interesting for, for us to change uh, experiences or to, to receive a, a Botswanian uh, students in our master or even uh, to send uh, uh, some pupils to, to study biodiversity in, in Botswana in order to, to make uh, their uh, works of uh, uh, end of uh, studies you know, the, of the master or even in the, in the in the grade of biology and environmental sciences it's quite interesting for naturalist uh, professors to to keep the uh, touch with a very interesting uh, country as uh, Botswana thank you very much thank you professor viejo okay let's move to the uh, universidad carlos III de madrid uh, first will be professor dania olmos Hi. Yeah, hello. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for um, this term. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Dania Olmos. Um, uh, I am a professor at the University Carlos III of Madrid. We work uh, along with Professor Gonzalez Benito uh, in this session as well. We work in the um, engineering school, okay, Polytechnic Engineering School. We are chemists. And, but we are uh, doing research in the field of material science. Uh, specifically, we're working with polymers and uh, polymer composite materials. Um, we are interested in lightware polymers for applications that has to do with energy harvesting or electrical applications, um, biomedical or bio-related applications like biopolymers and some other kind of applications related to medicine and other agricultural and some other like food sciences applications. Basically, uh, we do research and we do teaching as well. And we are open to, to hosting uh, students. Actually, in our group, we are uh, we have like 
four, five PhD students, and we also have experience with master thesis and final year students. And well, I don't know if you have further questions, maybe we have some time in a face-to-face -face session. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Dani. Uh, next one will be Professor Francisco Javier González Benito from UC3 and Brazil. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's uh, actually here. He's actually yeah. working with me. He's actually the head of my of uh, my uh, group. I don't know if he's. Okay, then I think with your presentation should be enough. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's move then to another university, Universidad Pompeu Fabra, Professor Guillem Naro. Yes, uh, I'm Sylvia. Hello, everybody. Okay. I'm not from. Uh, I'm from UPF, but uh, Guillermo Naro couldn't make it. So whenever it's time for UPF to speak, I'll give the floor to Francesca Lafayette uh, from the same university. If it's um, yeah. Hello, um, I'm Francesca Lafayette. I'm, I'm a professor at the uh, Health and Life Sciences fa uh, Faculty here at uh, at UPF, and I coordinate. Uh, the mobility uh, exchanges for the for the faculty. Basically, we have the two uh, two degrees on one on uh, in human biology and uh, and also medicine with uh, uh, which is a joint degree with UAB. We have an, a number of uh, of uh, of masters and a couple of doctorates. And our main focus on the, on research is biomedical uh, biomedical research from. Uh, physiology, neurology, uh, systems, uh, biology, evolutionary biology. So, and um, so this is basically what we have to uh, to offer. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Is there any other participant from the Spanish University who want to say some, uh, say something, or let's move to Boswana University? Okay. <laughs> Then let's start with the um, Boswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources. Uh, I give the floor to, sorry for the pronunciation, Samodini Nakwako. Thank you. Thank uh, I'd like to give the floor to Dr. Chabo, who is the okay. Dean for Faculty of uh, Animal and Veterinary Science. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, uh, I think you had my name. You have called me Samudi Mungwaku, but I'm um, Rix Chabu, Chabu on the screen. Yeah, yeah Chabu. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, as you know, Botswana is a livestock country. Cattle, sheep, goats is also a wildlife country. Our uh, wildlife is roaming in the in the wild, so. If, the best place to come and see our our wildlife. So the areas of cooperation are basically uh, for livestock improvement and also animal health, transboundary uh, disease, bioeconomy, uh, genomics, and uh, biodiversity. As some of your investors in Spain have already mentioned. I heard about uh, one entomologist there. We can collaborate, for example, at the moment we have an outbreak of locust in Botswana and in East Africa. And these are areas for cooperation. And we also have um, a huge wildlife population, elephants, which, you know, people from Europe like yourselves, you want to come and see them. But in Botswana, the, the wildlife, especially elephants, they have conflict with, with people because people cultivate their crops and then the, the, the elephants, they come and eat the crops and then the people become poor. So this is a big issue in Botswana. So maybe it's another area of uh, research or cooperation to see how we can mitigate against uh, uh, you know, wildlife and, and people conflict. We also have areas, I'm going to speak about also uh, science in general, natural resources, but here we're talking about biological resources, not uh, things like minerals and so forth, because those are for other universities 
in Botswana. The natural resources, biological resources here, we're talking about forestry, wildlife, uh, fisheries, uh, and so forth. Uh, how to mitigate about, you know, on uh, degradation of rangelands because we do have a large part of our animals, uh, I mean cattle, they graze, you know, openly as well as the wildlife. And we have problems of, of uh, uh, biological degradation, especially the, the grazing. Those are areas for, for, for cooperation. I'm also going to mention the cooperation in terms of sharing of uh, equipment, especially analytical equipment, which is very expensive for chemistry and physics and areas such as nanotechnology. Because if you have an university which has got a very good equipment and some other universities don't have, you need to analyze uh, samples. Maybe we can send those samples to that university. I think we need to have that type of cooperation as well. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, thank you, Prof Pro uh, Professor Chago. Let's give the floor to next person from your university, Demiel Ketai Fanta. Would you like to say something? Okay. Uh, Hasper Rees. Okay. Next one, Bengotlo Sebolai. Patrick, this is impossible for me to pronounce. Kwa Kwa Talala. Talala. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've already <laughs> spoken in general for okay. all of them. Some of them are attending another meeting at the moment. Okay, perfect. But I think okay. I've covered all the areas of cooperation in, the, in at Bua. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, I think everyone have the opportunity to say something. If not, please let me know. Just to remind you that, as my colleague Olga Belova said, uh, uh, the you know the mobility is, it is available for all of you. If you are thinking to do a mobility between within our university, yes, con please contact her, and she will let you know when the calls are open. And also to remind you that if you are interested, you can have the face to face. If you want to talk directly with someone, uh, just please send a message through the chat to the manager, to Gloria, and she will organize the face-to-face -face for you. If not, well, thank you so much for your uh, presentation. and uh, We can move to the next session. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Matilde. Um, so we can indeed uh, move to the next session which is about the social sciences, if, I, uh, if I'm correct. And uh, I think that uh, the that chair will already. be yeah. the head of uh, the International Relationships, uh, International Re Relations Office, um, uh, Sara, uh, you're here, I yes. can see you. Yes, here ah, I am. You're here. Hello, good morning, everyone. Sara Lopez. Good morning, everyone. I see that this is like a speed dating session, so I will try to keep the rhythm. Um, I would ask all the participants uh, registered for the social sciences uh, session, maybe to activate their cameras so that it is easier for me to um, go through the list and see who's present and uh, who's not, because there's a long list of registered participants, but I see that maybe not, not everyone is actively following. Um, I would like maybe to start this time um, with uh, our uh, Botswana partners, uh, if possible, um, because uh, from a social sciences perspective, we, we might perceive the University of Botswana would be like the more natural or um, partner uh, in this field. Um, so please, uh, if Dorothy can just take the floor and share with us maybe what are their, um, their fields of, of interest uh, first when they're looking uh, towards collaboration uh, in Spain, because they've already heard some of um, our professors also in the field of humanities. Or maybe we should just follow the pattern and uh, start. Um... Oh, Dorothy, you're, you're here. Sorry, I can see you now. Yeah. Uh, yes, in terms of uh, social sciences, 
Um, because like I, when I started, I did mention that I represent the international office and also re representing all the eight faculties within the university. But specifically in terms of social sciences, I mean, the faculty has got eight departments, uh, the law department, uh, the statistics, uh, sociology, um, psychology, you know, all the social sciences are in there. And they are really interested in uh, areas of collaboration. And as social sciences is a very vast uh, a, a, a discipline, you know, any collaboration in, in, in all the areas, uh, I'll be able to pass it on to the dean and then the heads of the department so that they can uh, identify specific areas that they are interested in. Uh, I think with that, uh, that's just what I want to let you know that all the eight departments within the Faculty of Social Sciences are open for collaboration. Okay, so it is good to know that all of them are open for collaborations in terms of mobility of research collaboration. So um, maybe now with more detail from our side, you will be able to report back. Um, it, I was also curious about the other two Botswana universities uh, because they do they do have a different profile. So um, in terms of the um, uh, the the views, um, I don't know if um, Bokani Ntengi can uh, just give us a hint of what would be their approach when um, thinking about collaboration in, in the field of social sciences, because they are more specialized in science and technology, but uh, they, are all, they are obvious links with social issues. Um, so uh, what would be your approach when thinking about uh, the social sciences? Well, thank you, Sarah. Um, as you already highlighted, we are focused on science and technology and engineering, but that doesn't mean that we cannot uh, collaborate on a social sciences aspect. Um, thinking about um, when we innovate new products, electronic products, sometimes we conduct surveys to understand um, people's feelings about a new product entering the market. So when we're doing market analysis, um, that's where we need some, um, elements or of uh, social sciences aspect. So that could uh, come in handy when we eventually get to that phase. So we are not closing the doors to that. Um, we, we hope that it can be instrumental in terms of um, actually um, making sure that we come up with products that um, a need to the uh, society. That's that's a very interesting point because it, it, in terms of market research, there yes. is a connection here um, right. maybe with the field of economics. So we have some professors from the field of economics and management mm -hmm. um, okay. representing the, the Spanish universities. So we might have a matching here. And mm -hmm. in the um, in the case of the um, of the uh, one, um, I was also wondering um, whether you have this education, this agricultural management. Um, but it, it, it seems to me it is very focused. So if you can also give us uh, a hint of what's the, what's, what, what do you see as the niches for collaborations in the field of social sciences, maybe sustainability um, as you presented um, in, your, in your first uh, presentation. Um, maybe uh, in the case of the Buan, I have Samodino Nwako. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I don't have uh, much to say that much was said by the uh, Dean, but uh, we don't have uh, any program on social sciences, but we have uh, a few courses that we are offering uh, covering uh, social aspects uh, and uh, we are open to collaboration in area, areas uh, in social sciences. Okay, thank you. Then let's go and dive into what we have to offer <laughs> in that regard as Spanish universities. Uh, I've been going through the list, so I, I will be skipping our, my colleagues uh, with their, I mean, uh, with their permission, uh, representing the international relations offices to focus on the, on professors so that they can share their areas of expertise. Um, there are some that represent these economics and business backgrounds, so I will start with them. Um, and I have here um, Beatriz Narbona from Autonoma de Madrid. Is she connected? I'm not sure. Oh, I yes, yes, here I am. 
Okay, go ahead, Beatrice. Hi, good morning. Well, just a short introduction. I, I'm here on behalf of my research group. Uh, we are a Tour UAM. We are a group of uh, teachers and researchers all dealing with the uh, degree of tourism and masters in some specialized studies in, in the tourism industry. So we are very much focused on the tourism business, but we are a multidisciplinary group. Uh, we, we do research and also um, teaching innovation related to uh, very different things from heritage management to management of hotels and also statistics and, uh, and um, uh, market research. So we, we do research and also teaching innovation on all those areas, always into the, uh, the tourism business, I mean, the tourism um, area. Um, and then and that's a, like a rough introduction and we will be very, very, very much interested in cooperating both in teaching in, in, in I mean, innovating curricula and so on, digitalization, internationalization and, and then um, the tourism industry. Thank you so much, Beatriz. Thank I you. can see there's someone else also from economics and business from Autónimo de Madrid. So just to continue with the same institution, it would be Jose Maria Mella. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, please, Jose Maria. Good, mor good morning to everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you this morning. And I'm uh, talking on behalf of Amenet. Amenet is an international uh, network funded by the European Union. Um, is coordinating European and Sub-Saharan African universities. And, from West Africa and Central Africa. And I'd like very interested in developing this network towards the, the, the Botswana course. And I'm professor of uh, applied economics and economic development, and in particular in economic development of sub-Saharan uh, economies, countries. And we are interested in teaching and doing research in sustainable cities. In particular, we are interested in modeling uh, sustainable cities uh, in order to identify the agglomeration economies in these cities. And also, we are interested in calculating the uh, environmental effects of uh, urban policies on, in, in three areas, the te technological change, urban territorial shapes and different uh, lifestyles. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Jose Maria. Um, I have a professor, um, Ramon Prat from Autonoma de Barcelona, who's also linked to, to business and, um, and economics. So if we can, uh, if you wanna take the floor, please. Hello, thank you. Uh, here I am at a personal level. I haven't coordinated my participation with my department, so I can only speak at my personal level. I am associate professor. I am teaching uh, graduate students and master students in financial markets. And this is my area of interest. I am interested in emerging markets, such as the Botswana market. And this is the, the reason I am here, to, to discover opportunities of collaboration doing research about the financial markets in Botswana or the participation of companies in, in the financial market. Thank you so much. Uh, I will close with Jordi Rey, um, who represents the Barcelona School of Management at Pompeu Fabra, my own university. So Jordi, if you want to jump in. Yeah, hi, Sarah. thank you very much. For, for, um, hello, everybody. Uh, as Sarah said, I'm the director of international relations for the Jaro School of Management. So we are really focusing on master's programs in our unit. Uh, we, we can hear. We can, we can hardly hear you. I think. Um, let, let me. Much better. Much better now. Yeah. Let me try with this another Absolutely. microphone. Yeah. Okay. As uh, Sarah has mentioned, I'm in charge of uh, the international relations area. At the Barcelona School of Management, which is a graduate school for the university in that area. Uh, we are really focused on uh, multidisciplinary areas of business and, and management, and with a strong international vocation. 
At the moment, we have about 2,000 students and 40 of them are international. Uh, for our strategic uh, priorities, Africa is for sure one of them. And we have seen in the presentations that you have uh, made before from the Botswana and the universities that we have really some areas of common interest, uh, uh, city mobility for sure, faculty exchange, areas of research. And for Botswana University, you have mentioned that you have some uh, senses of uh, excellence on research in culture and peace studies, and probably as one of the mission of the university is about planet study well-being and the social impact is something that we probably we could explore together in a uh, meeting apart, but more or less is what we want to do. Uh, student exchange, uh, some teaching collaboration would be nice as well, as because of the COVID situation, we are really offering a lot of uh, hybrid mode and virtual uh, teaching at the moment. So it's very easy and convenient for us to do some kind of teaching exchange at the current time. So we are really uh, keen to work with you and maybe with Sarah, we can organize some meeting afterwards. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jordi. Yes, indeed, there are no, no barriers now with the, the, in the virtual world. So teaching yes. collaboration might be easier and facilitated by technology. Um, I would uh, like to continue with Pompeo Fabra and Professor Tony Luna. Um, he's been also in the humanities session. Uh, he's a geographer himself, and he's a coordinator for global studies. I thank you, Sarah, for organizing this. Um, I believe I already explained that, and I don't know if it's the same uh, people in this session from uh, the, the partners in Botswana. Uh, in this hand, uh, I believe I can reinforce what Jordi was saying on the planetary well-being and the Center for Environmental Sustainability. There are uh, leading uh, trans transdisciplinary centers at the university where we can do uh, joint research projects. And then I think I can divide our possibilities of interaction in through si in two sites. One at the um, teaching and uh, education uh, mobility level for students and st um, faculty. As I said, uh, we are open to organize uh, join uh, courses within some of our degrees. It will be feasible since some of our degrees are in English and maybe we can do it uh, partly online, partly face-to-face -face at both master's level and undergrad level. And second, uh, the research level, I believe we can uh, collaborate, this, especially in this planetary well-being center or at the Center for uh, Environmental Sustainability, in which we are uh, different departments involved, especially in the areas of social sciences. I think that's basically it. I don't want to take more time. Thank you, Tony. I think you've been very like to the point. So thank you for that. And from the list, I do have, I, I'm checking the cameras that are, are, are on. I am only missing Professor, um, Fer, sorry, let me go through the list. Um, mm, 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 mm. Well, it, it's it, oops, Fernando Munoz, right? Yes, if you want to I, go ahead, because I don't have your, your line of expertise, so sorry for leaving you for the last one. Good morning to everybody. Um, I am at the Carlos Cicero University. I am the Vice Dean of the um, Business Administration degree. Uh, so I, I basically represent the, the faculty in this meeting, but uh, I, I would like to talk more about uh, uh, my, my department. I belong to the Department of Business Administration. This department includes um, four areas, accounting, finance, management, and uh, marketing. Um, we have um, both um, graduate and undergraduate teaching. And uh, well, we have several um, um, lines of research. For instance, we have a line of research on marketing and company competitiveness. We have a line of research on accounting and auditing. Another one on financial economics. Um, some of the research in accounting and finance that is not included in the other ones. And finally, 
uh, a research line on company innovation, organization, and, and also marketing. So we basically cover the four areas of the of the department, and we are highly committed with um, high quality research. Apart from um, high quality teaching, the department um, ranks uh, quite high. The different, uh, of course, in the na national ranks, not on the university as a whole in the in the international rankings. Uh, and the department of business administration is the the first one in in Spain among those departments of business administration that um, has got the accreditation of the AECSB. So this allows us to attract uh, quite a lot of uh, students, foreign students from, from other countries. So, so that's it, that's the, my presentation. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I was just going through the list also, and I'll be just checking whether those that were registered are here, although I don't see their names on. Uh, so I have on the list um, a Professor uh, Agustin Martinez from UAM, from Autónoma de Madrid, but he doesn't seem to be connected right now. I have Liliana Jacot also from um, Autónoma de Madrid and Robert, uh, Roberto Garcia, um, who is also from Autónoma de Madrid and working in the field of social psychology. I don't see them connected right now so maybe they just skipped and missed the schedule because of the delay the cumulative delay i hope that there are other opportunities for us to share maybe um documents or some sort of uh, of materials so that um, we can uh, continue working on the, on matching uh, eventual interests and collaborations. Uh, if any of my colleagues from the International Relations Office would like to complement, uh, because of the, some professors not being able to, to take the floor, um, please um, go ahead. Otherwise, uh, I think that uh, we've kind of highlighted uh, possibilities and our Botswana colleagues will report back and uh, we'll check uh, um, whether this is uh, feasible and uh, we as international relations will facilitate uh, the connection to make it possible. Okay, so I, I, I understand that nobody else uh, wants to add uh, anything. Uh, Sara, uh, thank you very much for the shared uh, session on social sciences. Uh, of course, uh, the, the, our colleagues that are absent uh, in the session but, um, but has, have, uh, uh, have indicated that they, they were interested in, in this uh, interaction and have indicated the field in which they want to collaborate. Of course, all this information will uh, be forwarded to, to, our, uh, to our colleagues and our Boswani uh, colleagues. I hope that they do the same. Uh, with us. Okay, so that last session that we are not that much <laughs> delayed, but a bit, only uh, this the session on uh, technology, I think it will be, um, it will be uh, uh, chaired by Lourdes uh, Rubio, uh, the, the delegate uh, of the rector for, uh, for international uh, Relations, uh, Lourdes is there or Sylvia? Can you yes, help I, me? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ah, Lourdes, <laughs> welcome. Thank you very much. So, uh, the floor is yours. Thank, Thank you. you, Carmela. Uh, hello, uh, Lourdes Rubio, uh, speaking from University Carlos III of Madrid. Um, um, uh, welcome to everyone to this session of um, technology and engineering. I think we are very, very short of time. Um, although we have um, we we have um, uh, run um, in the other sessions, so we are we have uh, time enough to to explain um, the fields of interest of uh, the participants. Um, uh, I remind you that uh, you will be able to um, establish a face-to-face -face meeting uh, if you like. Uh, and also I remind you that uh, uh, we, we will send you the coordinates of everyone uh, assisting to this, to this meeting so that you will be able to, to contact to other uh, professor departments, uh, institutes of 
research after this this meeting. Um, no delays, no more delays. We can uh, start with the um, uh, uh, participants from Spanish universities. I think we there are a few of us here. So um, look into the file of the assistant. I can see uh, from uh, Pompeu Fabra, Gloria Aro. I don't know if she is here. Yes, I'm here. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, so I will start. I will be brief. Um, I'm the uh, mobility coordinator of the engineering school. And our department is called Department of Information and Communication Technologies. And we are... Um, a very international department and our research is very interdisciplinary and it is um, grouped in four main areas. The first one is multimedia technologies, the second networks and communication, then we have computation and intelligence systems mm -hmm. and finally uh, we have uh, a group of researchers uh, in computational biology and biomedical systems. Uh, regarding our teaching, we have uh, five different baccalaureate uh, degrees, one in telecommunications, another in data science, then we have uh, computer engineering, telecommunications, and audiovisual systems engineering. And so, so we are open to both to research stays and, and teaching stays. And regarding teaching, our third and fourth courses are completely in English. So there's no problem in terms of, of language. And I would also like to highlight that uh, we have a, a PhD fellowship uh, called Dorcas Mutonis in honor to, to um, Dr. On, Honoris Causa that we gave to, to Dorcas Mutoni, um, an engineer and entrepreneur, uh, an African uh, woman. And this uh, fellowship is open for, uh, is open to, um, young uh, female uh, African women that want to, to pursue a PhD in our department. So, well, thank you. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you. Um, I think there's, uh, uh, there are two people from uh, Autonoma de Barcelona. Um, I don't know if Ramon Vila, Villanova is, is connected. Yes, yes, Lourdes, I'm connected. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we because can. I see, I see my, my video is completely black. I don't know if it's working or not, but uh, I have my camera connected, but uh, I see my face is not showing up by some reason. In but order... we can hear you, but okay, we can hear that's, you, so it's okay. That, that's important. Okay, thank you. We were two people uh, already on this. The, the other one was uh, Jose Vicario, that is the vice Vice Director for International Relations and, and, uh, and Strategic Operations of, of the School of Engineering. So I am actually the Dean of the School of Engineering. I know we, we are on uh, running ahead of time, so I will be very short and, and uh, open the communication to our colleagues in Botswana to contact if they need to explain further in any information. So we are the School of Engineering. We are, uh, for what matters to teaching, we actually teach in a, in a quite different short of engineering uh, degrees from uh, chemical and environmental engineering, computers, uh, data science, data engineering, aeronautical management, and different specializations on the field of telecommunication engineering. Also at master level, we cover different disciplines that are uh, surrounding this, uh, these fields on, on telecommunications, computer vision, biological and environmental engineering, Internet of Things on uh, on e-health, etc. So uh, we are we are covering a lot of, on, on on terms of research. In fact, uh, quite a lot of uh, research groups that are linked to different departments. In our school, we have departments on on uh, computer architecture and operation systems, microelectronics, computer science, electronic engineering, telecommunications, automation and control systems. And, and in fact, going to the detail of all the research groups could be very long because we are more than 30 specific research groups in, uh, in our school. So uh, I think if you are interested in uh, any kind of these uh, fields 
ranging, uh, I told you, from uh, computer and microelectronics and electronic engineering, just uh, we can, uh, as Gloria said, uh, meet face to face and, and, and go deeper in the, in the subject. So we are opening to contact you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ramon. I don't know if, if Jose Lopez would like to, to add something, if he's yeah. connected, or is that okay for you? From yeah, you? No, it's okay because Jose had another meeting and uh, I proposed him that I will, okay. I will talk in terms of the, of the school, so, so it's, uh, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know if there is uh, any other um, representative of, or of any Spanish university. I don't know if um, uh, someone from uh, Autónoma de Madrid is here. You can see, no. I'm from Carlos III. Uh, maybe, well, Calmera, maybe you can say something about... <laughs> about uh, um, uh, the, the technology in your university? Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, yes, no, normally the, 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 the vice dean uh, for the for the the only uh, school for uh, of uh, polytechnic uh, polytechnic school that we have uh, that uh, uh, is specialized in um, in computer science and um, and uh, and communications. Uh, also, with a, with a strong devotion to uh, biometrics uh, recognition and uh, uh, another and artificial intelligence. Uh, so I, I suppose that uh, he he couldn't make it. But uh, again, as for the School of Medicine, I think uh, uh, we could be interested in in the exchange of students and a faculty. So. If if uh, somebody has any uh, idea of uh, interest for uh, the university, of course we, we will be we will forward it to to, to the Polytechnic School. Thank you very much, Lourdes. For Thank you, me. Carmela. Okay. Uh, well, from Carlos III, um, I, I'm going to to change my suit, my hat, and as I'm a professor at the Faculty of Engineering, I will tell you something about the Faculty of Engineering. Um, my, I am myself a professor in mechanical engineering, so I can I, I can be the contact from any one of you of uh, our colleagues of Boswanian uh, universities. And also, I, I would like to say that in our faculty of engineering, we are um, uh, 11 departments on, of engineering and we are uh, the our research and our teaching is devoted to energy uh, power energy uh, power uh, um, electrical engineering power engineering uh, aerospace engineering mechanical engineering of course um, um, computer science um, biomedical engineering materials um, so it's very broad, but um, uh, I can I can be the the the, the connection uh, with you uh, between you and uh, uh, you both one and colleagues and and my colleagues in the in the in the faculty of engineering of Carlos III. Um, so now we can move to the to the Botswana universities, and I don't know if. Um, uh, Professor uh, Olakanmi Ola is connected from um, Bust. Yes, I'm here. Hello, welcome. Hello, ma. <laughs> yes, ma. Can you share with us any any field of interest or uh, any any question you would like to 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 say to us? Okay, thank you. Uh, I work in the field of laser-based additive manufacturing and powder technology. And I could see that you have a fibroid uh, research group in powder technology in your university. Yes. And it would be good that we can explore uh, a PhD mobility for students. Uh, in your area, and also the capacity 
uh, higher education capacity building could be another area that we could explore in the future uh, once the call is out again. Because presently, uh, we coordinate, as built here, we coordinate the education for laser-based manufacturing, uh, through which we work with four other African universities, as well as the University of Bologna uh, in Italy. So I think these are the areas of interest. Thank you. Oh, OK, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, now, I, I don't know if there are any other participants participant from your university, maybe a professor uh, or a Pelen? Yeah, I think she's is, around. Is, is there? Yeah, she's around. Uh, I don't know yeah uh, then professor uh and thank you okay well thank you thank you um yes i'm i am in the department of electrical computer and telecommunications engineering we have a staff of 13 uh, people with three of those being at professor level and um our we offer 10 bachelor of engineering degrees masters and phd as well under five different departments. This is the Faculty of Engineering. And um, we're hoping to add the Department of Biomedical Engineering as well, which is actually my um, background. And for our research um, areas, we have embedded systems, um, signal processing and power systems and energy, power electronics and energy systems. Um, we've been a little bit, it has been challenging with um, having finding lecturers with um, high voltage um, experience. So a good collaboration will be someone with um, a background in power who can give maybe guest lectures. Uh, um, but for, for research, probably we're looking at, um, our areas are usually around, um, we're looking at green solutions, especially energy systems, smart electronics uh, design. So those are some of the areas that we are working on in terms of our research, especially solar renewables. That's our focus area. I mean, due to the fact that we have plenty of sunlight here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there is anyone from a University of Natural Agricultural and Natural um, Resources, the BUAM. Uh, thank maybe you. not. Thank maybe you. Not. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so in Buang, we have the uh, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering, uh, which offers uh, two programs in soil and water conservation and then agricultural mechanizations. So the areas of interest are mostly in soil and water conservation and uh, mechanical engineering and the water use efficiency. And we also have the Department of uh, Food Science and Technology, uh, which offers one program in food science and technology. And the main area of interest are mostly in food nutrition, security, and food safety. So as Buang, we are uh, ready to collaborate in any areas, as I've uh, heard from uh, different speakers from Spain, and also from uh, our uh, universities here uh, at BUST. Thank you. Thank you very much, Waco. Um, I think uh, I think everyone has uh, has give our their ideas, and uh, but I don't know if anyone wants to 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 give some uh, to to say something else or to participate. Or uh, I don't know. Uh. Uh, yes, uh, I'm uh, Pelem from Beust. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I, I wasn't. Uh, I was. Uh, I was away from the computer when you called me earlier. Um, so I guess I can just introduce myself. I'm uh, also from Beust, from the Department of Energy. Uh, mechanical energy and industrial engineering. Uh, I have a background in mechanical engineering. 
but my my research interest is in energy storage especially for renewables uh, I'm, I'm working specifically on redox flow battery the soluble lead redox flow battery uh, so yeah, I'm interested in energy storage. Uh, the department is also involved in uh, the electric car research on the electric car. So they they are also looking at energy storage for that, uh, which I'm not directly involved in, but that's also an area of interest that I know that the department has. Thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know if Dorothy would like to add something from University of Botswana. No. Um, uh, the same for uh, Professor Galani from University from the Views. Uh, just check if um, Professor Dean. Uh, Molawa, I don't know if it's here. So I think that's all for our for our session from engineering and technology. Uh, thank you, Carmela. Lourdes, thank you so much. I, I was uh, silent. Thank you very much. Uh, at this point, uh, we we incredibly we we are on time. So. <laughs> So um, maybe we could uh, we could remind that the possibility to have a face-to-face -face meetings, uh, if you wish. Otherwise, uh, I, this time uh, my time comes uh, to an end uh, um, uh, for this for this uh, fantastic uh, encounter with uh, with the Botswana uh, universities. I would I would like to wish you you know that 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 we in the in the next few days we have a, a good uh, wrap up from both sides and uh, we we really uh, try try to 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 forward all the information that we have presented today a bit like uh, you know it's not possible to really. Uh, really develop uh, the ideas and the, the possibilities but I think that uh, some fields and definitely all our very interested uh, faculty members that have attended today thank you so much because without you uh, these uh, relationships uh, would be uh, very nice but uh, not very fruitful so uh, Everybody from uh, the, the the staff uh, members in the in the international relations offices to, of course, our our guests um, uh, from uh, from uh, uh, Botswana to, uh, of course, uh, as I say, all my colleagues uh, and uh, and faculty from the this alliance for universities is for universities that as you see uh, we become very strong when when we work uh, together so thank you so much uh, i i suppose i give the floor to gloria if she has uh, any final technical questions for this face to face uh, otherwise uh, thank you very much and uh, i see you soon i hope bye now thank you carmela uh, yes, there's uh, Thank you very much. face to face with uh, Professor Lourdes Rubio by Ola Tunde Ola Kanui. So uh, we will create that straight away. Just please just stay connected. And uh, uh, and I think there was another request, although I can't see the person still uh, in the um, in the meeting uh, with uh, Professor Pabanga. So just uh, bear with me. That's just the um, uh, there's two face to face to be uh, created. Just one second. Okay, so Thank you all for your we, we can say we can part now. Thank you so much. Have a very nice rest of the day and uh, see you soon, all of you. Thank you.